I've got a timer today. So I don't go on and on. Oh, it's great, you can't see that, can you? There we go. Um, so I don't go on for eight minutes, which is a bit long, isn't it? Um, I wanted to pick up um, on, well, the Arabic class thing is, is still ongoing because yesterday I had to represent my um, legal rights to to them um, and because they said, oh, you've quit, so uh, we don't normally give people money back, but in this case we will. So I had to write and say, well, I didn't quit. That <laughs> I tried to take responsibility for the ways that I tried to take responsibility for the ways which I was denied access to something um, because that thing had been designed and made in a certain way. So I said, uh, well, you, I tried to check with you about the course and you said that it was oral based and then when I got there it wasn't. So you didn't, you sold me the wrong, you told me one thing and the course was another and that is a that breaks a contract so you should give me all the money back oh gosh it was quite hard to do so i wanted to pick up on the lack of superpowers involved in this because um dyslexia is not a superpower was something that it was important for me to say last time and then something that was picked up on by folks that watched it so um I want to talk about that a bit more because I think it's a bit... The, the trouble is that we're seeking to call ourselves superheroes. I don't know about you. Who's the we? My perception, my experience is that it's a superpower, is a way to deal with the problem of the very, very deep injustices that happen in our society. So we're trying to tell each other, there's nothing wrong with us. We, we are legitimate. And that's important to feel legitimate. But using superpower language is not the way to do it. So um, I have to try now to, to talk about the social model of disability. Uh, so um, the story that people... Did I talk about this already? I don't know. The story that people will tell is is um, about how the built environment, uh, the 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 that houses and and shops and everything around us are all built for people that don't use wheelchairs. Tend to be nowadays things are changing. So um, this is an example of how you are disabled by the way things are done. So for me because of the over-reliance on written text and reading and certain forms of bureaucracy, the way that people give lots of information and don't break it down, um, these things disable me from certain things. Specifically, I can think that uh, my kid's getting homeschooled at the minute and I've not been able to go near the paperwork, so other people are looking at that. Meanwhile, I've been able to read to my kid, draw with them, make stories, make gym, tell them about the world. So I can educate my kid. I just can't school it. Um, well, that's not true. I do a little bit. But, uh, so this is about how everybody is able. Everybody's able. So... The, the dissing happens because you're trying to fit into something that ain't got no space for you. Which then gets to the neurodiverse bit and this whole thing about how, how to talk about, uh, like, I am disabled by my learning difficulty. I don't have a learning difficulty. I love learning. And I don't have dyslexia. Like, if we were all living in a human system, but we're not living in a human system, we're living in a a system that, that, we de that was developed over the last, I guess, a couple of hundred years that keeps trying to 
work out how normal people are and is more and more structured. So like the education and stuff is more and more kind of like, my cousin explained this to me because I wrote to her about it. She said that they... Nice <laughs> she said that uh, they... Um, it's testing content in, 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 in the schooling instead of skills. And the more and more you do that, the more that you make it difficult for people who are neurodiverse and then you increase the, the weight of people being diagnosed. So humans are diverse, hence neurodiverse, right? But all humans are diverse. But if you make us get, if you force us to live in little rigid ways, you end up having to have conditions that you prescribe to people so that when they go into school or whatever, they can get extra money and support to actually survive. I know that doesn't happen, so, yeah. Um, so I just want to, I think, if we, if we talk about this in the community, then we can help ourselves have a better sense of self because my sense of self is destroyed by this whole experience. But it's the experience of being a neurodiverse person in an unsupported, disabling world. And let's face it, the way that it disabled and, and destroyed me was less than it has for others. I was talking to my uncle. I've gone over time massively, of course. But anyway, yeah. So that's a bit more from me. So um, maybe I get my... Um, money back but I wrote the email where I said like I'm writing this for people like me because I have to represent them so I apologised to the woman who I was writing to and sort of said you've been really helpful thank you very much but now please send this to your accountants because this is about the contract that you broke as a company it's not about you so yeah um, I'll let you know how that goes